retro action time for you here in Pembrey for round six of the British Rallycross Championship Five Nations Trophy. And our pole position is Dan Swayland, who leads the championship by 11 points. Tony Lynch, who's got three wins from three rounds competed in. And then Simon Hart in third spot. We've then got Paul Buckmaster and Ian Biaghi as your five drivers on the grid. Dan Swayland has not managed to win a round yet this season. And I tell you what, as we get the green lights up, it's Tony Lynch that gets the whole shot. And Swayland does move up into second position. But ultimately, under pressure once again, he's not needed to win a round to lead this championship. He currently leads by 11 points to Simon Hart. But ultimately, would love to have a round win as Biaghi makes his way up from fifth on the grid up to third. Looks like Buckmaster has managed to find himself in fourth where he started. And then we've got in the background Simon Hart, who is second in this championship, down in fifth spot right now. So he needs to make some inroads sooner rather than later. But it is Tony Lynch that leads the way. And what a brilliant start it has been for Tony Lynch. But can he keep Dan Swayland at bay? The one thing that has eluded him this season is a round victory. As we sweep him through the mid part of this circuit, heading up towards the centers for the very first time. And Tony Lynch will just about hang on. Bit of a mistake there in the background from our number 53, Paul Buckmaster, just running ever so slightly wide there through the centers and ultimately maybe leaving an opportunity for Simon Hart to take advantage. But as we head then through the exit of the Toyos and the Brooklyn hairpin, we're now on the speedway straight. Who has that top speed advantage? It looks like Dan Swayland may have a bit of poke there to use, but just cannot get close enough on the exit. Through the middle part of this Pembury circuit. Of course, Joker will not be used by the retro class. This is where the Joker would be. It is still the lead right now for Tony Lynch. So we've got Ford versus Vauxhall in the background. A battle of the ages. A battle that certainly was prevalent when I was a kid. And well, there's a big issue there for the Nova, the number 53 of Paul Buckmaster. Just not able to get the car in gear, but it looks like they figured out. But here's the battle for the leader. Swain is going to be forced to go around the outside through Carter's hairpin. And the door was closed as quickly as it was opened as they are almost touching each other, coming through towards the middle part of the circuit, towards the Joker area. And now we're heading up towards Senna's. And it's still not going to give. There's nothing that's going to give in this battle. And it is Tony Lynch that leads the way. Boy, it's like these cars are in their heyday here, battling like it is not 2024. This is fantastic action from the front to Lynch just about hanging on. He makes a little bit of a mistake there as we head onto the speedway straight. And are we about to see a potential move this time around? Down towards Carter's hairpin. Swayland almost giving a little touch to the rear of Tony Lynch's motor. And it's still the lead for Lynch. Looking to make it four out of four rounds he's competed in in terms of race wins. Swayland looking for his first win of the season. And Swayland struggling to get his car in gear there. Bit of a gap now opening up for Lynch. So we see Biagi in the background there. The rear right stepping up, absolutely pushing. See his name on the front of the car there, that massive front of the car. Looking to get a podium for the Scotsman. So come through Toyos onto that speedway straight once again. Brilliant stuff here. And Swayman is as close as he's ever been. Can he hang it round the outside? He cannot this time round. Tony Lynch though runs ever so slightly deep. The door not quite as open as Swayland would have liked. And it is still normal service resumed. Tony Lynch leads the way. And Swayland struggling with that car. Definitely an issue there to lose that amount of time. The car looks like it's running pretty slowly. Swayland on the power as Biagi will be looking to take advantage of any potential issues with the cars in front. Is that car running slowly? down through Toyos and I think Dan Swayland's got an issue here I'm not sure yeah he definitely has the gap is massively increasing to Tony Lynch out the front it looks like Tony Lynch on this final lap will take a fourth win from four barring any massive mistakes and Dan Swayland right now is just got to try and hold on to P2 because Biagi is very close indeed is there an opportunity as they come through Paddock Bend for Biaghi to potentially steal a second position. Tony Lynch though, it is going to be four out of four so far this season. Fantastic job from him. We'll close that championship lead. 
Dan Swayland, who comes across the line in second spot. Biagi will finish in third. And it looks like we will have Simon Hart finish in fourth position. But there is classification, and Tony Lynch is a winner once again.